Hello and welcome to the video. Here's what's coming up on tonight's match day experience. We've got three bottles of Prime. Goals this late win you titles. Yes guys, welcome back to the match day experience. Tonight we're here at the Emirates Stadium as High Flying Newcastle take on top of the league Arsenal. Tonight's game is absolutely massive for both of these two sides, with Arsenal wanting to extend the gap at the top of the league and Newcastle looking to close in on Man City. Last time out for these two teams, Arsenal beat Brighton 4-2 away from home, whilst I was in Newcastle, which you can see now on my channel, to see them draw 0-0 at home to Leeds. I believe that a key matchup tonight will be Arsenal's Bukayo Saka up against Newcastle's left side, with Big Dan Byrne and the inform Sven Botman standing in his way. In addition to that, Arsenal's frontman Eddie Nketiah faces a tough test tonight as Newcastle's rock-solid defence have conceded the fewest goals in the Premier League this season, along with having the most clean sheets in the division. Here we go then. Wow. Okay guys, so tonight we're here with Jack at the Arsenal game. He's obviously an Arsenal fan and I'm of course supporting Newcastle for this one. But what is your score prediction? It's going to be close. Newcastle flying, but I think we'll just edge it. 2-1 Arsenal. I'm going to say 2 all. It's going to be a close game and it should be a good one. Players are now out warming up. We've got three bottles of Prime. For £4.50, we're trying Prime ice pop flavour. So here are our opinions. Honestly. It's alright. Very sweet. Oh, it tastes familiar. Kind of like um, it's a bit like an ice pop to be yeah, fair. Yeah, it is. It's quite um, it's got a bit of a cherry flavour to it. I don't yeah. Know, got cherry? yeah, I can taste a lot of cherry, but it's all right. I wouldn't pay four pound fifty of it for <laughs> it, but it, it's nice. It's all right. Cherry lime and blue raspberry, apparently. Not bad. Then the players are out, big lash, a couple of minutes to go to kick off. But before the game starts, please could you go over to Instagram and TikTok and follow me on there. It's the match day experience, same as the YouTube. Jack, three minutes in and Arsenal have already had a big chance. Good start so far. Got to keep it going though. More to come. Wilson's just putting a nasty challenge on. Who is it? Is it Gabriel? Looks like it. Yeah, it could be Gabriel. Possibly the studs are up. The referee's giving him a yellow card, but I'm sure VAR will have a look at this one. Didn't look nice, but we'll have to see. I think it's been quite close so far, but I personally would say that Arsenal have slightly been the better side, would you say? Yeah, I think we've edged it. Started the faster for sure, but it's kind of slowed down the past 15, 20 minutes. The Newcastle fans have just woken up a little bit. Jack has been booked as well, and that's the fifth yellow card of this game, and it's not even half time yet. Okay guys, so it's half time and here are our thoughts. I personally, I thought it was a very close game actually. The ref was a little bit interesting, gave a lot towards Newcastle. Both sides played well, but Arsenal ever so slightly on top. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Um, certainly to start of the game, Arsenal much stronger, much more intense and fun, which is quicker on the ball. Newcastle grew into the game for sure. Very tetchy at the moment, lots of silly fouls being given. I'd be very surprised if 22 men stay on the pitch. Yeah, can definitely see someone getting sent off. But anyway, a couple minutes to go until the second half starts. More to come. Oh, 
Like we need to see some more clear cut chances. No one's really had a big threat and challenge the keeper. I agree, I think we've got to get some more shots off. Okay. One or two overloads and just kind of faff about. Just hit it across goal. Get deflection or anything. I completely agree. It's happened for both sides, but anyway, Newcastle have a free kick. Decent opportunity. Decent opportunity. <laughs> Decent opportunity to get the ball into the box. The atmosphere is starting to build a little bit. Jack, what do you think so far? Very nervy, very nervy. Chances at both ends, well, half chances. Got to up the tempo, got to up the tempo. Definitely. The speed of the game is definitely increasing in this one. I'm just looking at Newcastle, they're about to make two substitutions. So Max Mann isn't one of them. However, I think when he does come on, the game will definitely change. It's difficult for Arsenal in terms of changes. We've got a very thin squad is the problem. Newcastle makes the substitutions. We're going to get Fabio Vieira on. He's probably the first attacking option. Who would you bring off? Odegaard on a booking. Jacob on a booking, maybe. You use... <laughs> Very risky. Murphy uh, and Wood are coming on, and Wilson and Almiron are coming off. But for me, Maxman has to come on. Changes the game. Keep him on the bin. These ultras actually haven't stopped the entire game. They've been going. Five minutes to go before added time. It's getting really tense now. I'm really hoping for a late winner here. Need one. There you go. Still time for a winner. Really don't want another nil nil. Crunch time. He's got the winner. If it stays nil nil, I'm sure the home fans will not be happy. But Newcastle fans, let me know in the comments below. Happy with the nil nil? They definitely are happy. This late win new titles. Arsenal are screaming for handball. They want the AR. I don't know. I think we're a little bit far away to tell, but at first glance, it did look like it hit his hand. Big moments. Big, big, big moments. moments like this can win you the title. But it's not a penalty. And it could be finishing 0 0 now.
And that is it from the Emirates. Full time Arsenal nil, Newcastle nil. A very close game. The Geordie seemed very happy with the point. I think Arsenal will be very disappointed though. Should have got more from the game. Jack? Got it. Um, big opportunity. So you're always going to drop points throughout the season. So these are a good side. You can see why they've only lost once. On to the next one. And there we go. The next one for us will not be this weekend. No video this weekend. However, I'll be working on some games coming very soon. What an opportunity indeed, but guys that is it, this is where this video ends in the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal remain top of the league but it wasn't their night tonight and the Newcastle fans are going home happy. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, turn on the notifications so you don't miss the next one. And I'll see you in the next video.